I said salute to the untouchable True School Sports Empire. <laughs> That's right, over the untouchable. Not only the South Florida boxing scene, but the worldwide boxing scene. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so in the aftermath of Javante Davis absolutely obliterating Ryan Garcia this past weekend, he's in a very great position in boxing. He's 29-0, 27 knockouts, um, a real legitimate star in a draw with real value here in america which is hard it's, listen it's hard to build boxing stars in america these days because boxing just it ain't what it used to be in the states just just being honest and um the fact that he's becoming that star is something special so naturally when you, when you get to that position a lot of guys want to call you out and this is no different for him and there's a very interesting guy that called him out at 140 you know and, and mind you tank has been you know a, a reggie belt champion at 140 when he beat mario barrios right so with that being said so, Bruno Matias, the Puerto Rican monster, you know, the Puerto Rican monster. I know we got the Mexican monster with Diego Benavides, but this is the Puerto Rican monster. This guy, this guy's pretty damn dangerous himself. So, Bruno Matias, the man who has the second highest knockout ratio in boxing behind only Art Better BF. Um, you know, he's called uh, Javante Davis out. Now, he said the following, and I quote, Congrats, champ. I would love to take your zero and add it to my knockout percentage. So, listen, man, listen. This would be a great fight for a number of reasons. Number one, um, there's a graphic that I'm looking at. Uh, Tank Davis has the third highest knockout percentage in boxing. Uh, Better BF is number one because you know he's a knockout king. He's knocking out everything in sight. He's he's got he's he's at a 100% knockout ratio. We got Sabrina Matias is two. That's 95%. And then Tank Davis is right there, number three, at 93%. So it would be two of literally the biggest punches in boxing fighting each other. And I would love the fight because it would, it would be guaranteed action. You'd have Tank Davis who necessarily not he isn't necessarily the highest volume puncher he's actually a pretty low volume puncher but he's an extremely accurate puncher and he just knows how to dissect styles he's that he's fought pressure styles he's fought multiple long rangey guys he's fought shorter guys than him he's fought all kinds of styles he's at this point it's it's fair to say that javante davis is a seasoned professional it's fair to say that javante davis um is a versatile fighter he can box Count, slug inside fight outside fight mid-range fight you know counter punch all the things he's, he's, a, he's a complete fighter then as you know it may be redundant when he says it to fighters but it's kind of the truth for a lot for a lot of guys that he fights you know it's like most of the guys he fights aren't complete fighters and he is so in order to be tank you either you you, you either gotta impose your style on him or you gotta be a complete fighter and there's no twice about it so I, I love the fight um i feel like pbc should look to make this fight Maybe like in the next year or so, because because if they're not gonna do Devin and they're not gonna do Shakur, which are the big you know cross promotional fights that people ultimately want to see in boxing, if they're not gonna do those fights because they feel like it, the the risk isn't uh, matching the reward yet, okay then, this is an in house fight. Uh, I say you get Sabrina Matias on a big card, uh, get him a knockout, drum up some more interest and 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 make make this fight at some point if you want to keep things in house. Make this fight look look make this fight sometime um. You know, later this year or next year, because this is a fight that I think would be great. Um, PBC has never had the honor of having a Puerto Rican champion that's this exciting. So I feel like they need to really build Subru Matias and, and get people interested in him and get him active as possible. And then when the time is right, make, make this fight, because I feel like this fight would be guaranteed. It's guaranteed violence, guaranteed violence, guaranteed knockout, guaranteed just just great fight. You know, and um, you could also have the Puerto Rican fan base invested in the fight as well if promote if you promote Sabrina Matias properly from now let's say from now till you know the next year at this time next year you know what I'm saying so uh that's the news what, what do you guys think I think it'd be an interesting fight we know Matias has the has the high volume style with heavy hands which make him a dangerous opponent for anybody who's willing to sit there and trade with him but we know Tank Davis, as we've seen with Ryan Garcia and Roley and Mario Barrios and Pedraza and, and all these, and Isak Cruz and all these fighters in different styles, we've seen him be able to deal with just about anything that comes his way. And it really seems, if we're just judging by how his physical condition was going, in, going into the Ryan fight, it really seems that he's graduated to a new level mentally 
to where he's taking his physical physical condition a lot more serious. So that makes him even more dangerous to be if 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 he if he continues to come into the shape that he's coming into the ring in, you know. So it's good to see it's good to see someone like Tank Davis take the craft seriously and start to um you know fulfill a little bit of the potential, you know. And and and, and, don't, and don't 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 get don't get it twisted. He's not a finished product. There's still more to go. There's still more to accomplish. There's still more fighters to beat. But uh, I would love this fight in the future. And I just wanted to get my thoughts out there on it. You know, so uh, let me know what you guys think. Tank Davis, Subrio, Matias. What do you guys make of that fight? The style matchup, all that good stuff. What kind of chance do you give Matias? Uh, you know, because we've seen Tank in the past when guys press him and push him back. Like Ryan showed a little bit in the fight. And Roley showed him a little bit in their fight. You know, he, they, you can have success if you push Tank back. It's just you got to stay, you got to stay defensively tight defensively responsible and that's that's where the problem lies because if you have any chick in the armor tank will exploit it so um we'll see how it goes but uh let me let me know what you guys think in the comments down below make sure you guys take the time to subscribe and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just a kid from daniel so until next time take care guys. thank you for watching another video on the untouchable true school sports empire for more great boxing content just like this video click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.